In today's lesson, we are going to be looking at the power laws. So you probably looked at the power laws in grade nine and a little bit last year, and we're gonna review them again um, at the beginning of this unit because it is gonna be helpful as we get further into our exponential functions unit. So the first rule we're gonna look at is multiplying powers. And when we multiply powers, we add the exponent. So in our example, four x cubed times five x squared, for the four and the five, I'm just gonna multiply them as I would any other number, right? So four times five is 20. Then for my two powers, the x cubed times x squared, I'm gonna add my exponents, three plus two is five. For dividing powers, we subtract our exponents. So again, we have a, a complex base. I'm only gonna focus on the numbers first, so 24 divided by eight. Those aren't powers, so I'm just gonna treat them as normal numbers and 24 divided by eight is three. And for x to the power of six divided by x squared, six minus two is four. For power to a power, we multiply our exponents. So in our example here, x to the or x, y squared, all to the power of three. So here it's a little bit different because keep in mind, um, we have, if we don't see an exponent, we assume there's a one. So on this x, there is an exponent of one. And when we have, again, a complex base and it's raised to the power, this three applies to both parts. So that means x to the power of one times three, which is three, and y to the power of two times three, which is six. So we're still multiplying exponents, um, but we're just keeping it to each individual power. Negative exponents, we have the reciprocal or we flip it, right? We flip our, our power. If it's a whole number, it's always over one. If not, um, if it's a fraction, then we just flip the fraction and our exponent becomes positive. So in our example, two squared all to the power of negative one, this is kind of a complex example because it's, it has two parts. So the first part is the power to a power. Two to the power of two, to the power of negative one. So there we have to multiply our exponents. So two times negative one is negative two. Now, generally we want to write our powers with a positive exponent. So I need to flip this, and because it's a whole number, I'm gonna flip it. So it becomes one over two to the power of two. I flipped it, my exponent is now um, positive. And if we want, we can evaluate this one over two squared, two squared is four. So this works out to one over four. The zero exponent, zero exponent states that anything to the power of zero is one. So negative three to the power of zero is one. So let's go through and simplify some of these examples using these power laws. So these are gonna be a little bit more complex examples um, if you are struggling a little bit with the basic examples, um, I do have videos up from the grade nine course uh, on the YouTube channel. So you can go and look at the power laws there and they'll cover the basics. But simplifying the power, so we have a fraction. When we have a fraction, we want to simplify the top and the bottom as much as possible. And then we'll worry about our division. So right now, x, y squared all to the power of three. That means this three or this exponent three needs to apply to everything on the inside. So x to the power of one to the power of three becomes x to the power of three. y squared to the power of three becomes y to the power of six, just like our example that we did. Now this is all divided by x squared. So because it's a fraction, um, this would be considered division. So x cubed y six divided by y squared or x squared. When we're dividing, if we have components um, that are the same or powers that have the same base, like our x's, we can focus on those. So x to the power of three divided by x to the power of two, we subtract three minus two is one. And then the y to the power of six, we just leave because there is no other um, power with the base y. So we don't do anything to it. For b, we have some negative exponents. I'm not gonna worry about them yet. I'm going to just simplify um, my expressions for right now. 
So a negative two, b cubed, divided by a to the power of one, b to the power of negative one. So because it's all division, there's nothing else I can simplify. I can't combine the a's and the b's together, or the a and the b together on the top or on the bottom. So I'm just gonna focus on my similar parts and divide. So a to the power of negative two, divided by a to the power of one, dividing power, so we subtract, negative two minus one, we get a to the power of negative three. b to the power of three, divided by b to the power of negative one, we subtract, so three minus negative one becomes three plus one, or four. Now, we can simplify and get rid of the negative power, um, or turn it into a positive power. So by doing that, or to do that, we have to flip it. So when it's paired up with something else, we keep the other part, whatever, not changing, we leave that on top and we move our negative exponents or the powers with the negative exponents to the bottom, like so. And the exponent now becomes positive. And that's as simplified as we can get. For C, again, multiple steps. Let's simplify the top and the bottom as much as possible first. This exponent two is going to apply to everything, even the number. So negative four squared, negative four squared, negative four times negative four is 16. X to the power of two to the power of two. We multiply or two times two, which is, oops, which is four. Y to the power of one to the power of two or one times two, which is two. And this is all divided by eight X Y. Again, we don't touch or we don't have to simplify anything on the bottom. Now what we can do, now we can divide. So now we can divide our top divided by our bottom. We can focus on the parts that are the same. So for example, my two numbers, 16 and eight, I can divide those two numbers as normal and I get two. X to the power of four divided by X to the power of one, subtract the exponents, so x to the power of three. y squared divided by y to the power of one, subtract two minus one is one. I don't need to show that, I can leave it as um, just nothing if I want. Um, again, it's just up to you, but generally we, as simple as possible, we don't need to put anything extra if we don't have to. But that is as simplified as it gets. I can't uh, do anything to that um, and simplify it further. So next, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to write each as a single power, and then we're going to evaluate. And we don't want to have decimals when we evaluate. So this is going to be um, where we simplify and then evaluate basically just means tell us what the value is. What does it equal? So we have components on the top and the bottom. Um, so four to the power of nine times four to the power of negative five divided by four. So I'm going to simplify the top, which states that we have to add our exponents. So you might think, well, four times four, which is 16. And that would be true. However, we're considering these two powers, right, with a base four. So I'm not touching the base. I'm not changing anything to the base. I'm only going to change the exponent. So in this case, nine plus negative five or nine minus five, because we're adding, but when we add a negative, it's the same thing as subtracting we get four. We're then dividing by four, or four to the power of one. When we divide, we subtract, so we get four to the power of three. And now we can evaluate this, four to the power of three. So four times four times four, or 64. So we simplify it to a single power, and then we evaluate it. For B, and this one's a little bit tricky, but let's convert uh, some of our numbers. So we look at all of these, right? Three to the power of negative five, nine to the power of two, 27 to the power of negative one, right? These are all different, or they all have different bases. Right? One has a three, one has a nine, one has a 27. So we, we can't use any of our power laws because they need to have the same base in order for this to work. What we can do though, is hopefully maybe you recognize that nine can be broken down into a power of three 
as well as 27. So if, in order to do that, or if we do that, we can then find out what the individual uh, exponents are or powers all with the same base and then try to simplify it. So nine is the same thing as saying three squared. So three squared to the power of two and 27 is the same thing as saying three cubed. So three cubed to the power of negative one. Now we all have the same base or every exponent has the same base. I have some simplifying to do. So three to the power of negative five, I'm not gonna to touch, that's gonna stay the same. Three squared to the power of two, well, that is the same thing as saying three to the power of four. Multiply your exponents when it's a power to a power. We divide by three to the power of three to the power of negative one, or we, or we multiply three to the power of negative three. Now we can simplify the top again even further, three to the power of negative five plus, or times three to the power of four. So we add our exponents, negative five plus four is negative one. The bottom doesn't change. We can now simplify the bottom because when we subtract powers, we add, or when we divide powers, we subtract the exponents. So three to the power of positive two, oops, because negative one minus negative two or negative three is two. And now I have my single power, right? Three to the power of two is our single power. Now we can evaluate it and get it as nine. So um, this is just again, an overview of all the different power laws. Um, generally, you're gonna be asked to si simplify to a single power and then in some cases evaluate um, evaluate to a final answer. Generally speaking, it's always going to ask and say uh, no, um, no decimals. So you can't just type it into your calculator. You need the actual fraction. And yes, I know you can just type it into the calculator, um, but it is more for working through the rules because when we start to try to solve um, equations um, or exponential equations, it will be a little bit easier um, if we know the rules. Again, if you don't quite remember the rules, again, we have a summary up here. Um, we would take a look at some of the grade nine videos um, that will go over that because that it might have been the last time that you um, saw some of these. Uh, so it doesn't hurt to refresh. Mm -hmm.